Hi, everybody. Welcome to Podcast 1.2. We're looking at beautiful 1.2. So what I'm going to do is just show you how to do Bohr model um, representations, okay? Bohr model is this guy that has all these rings and all this stuff like that. It has some flaws to it, but we're going to make uh, do with what we can, okay? So we're going to look at different representations. When I see carbon-12, okay, this periodic table you'll be given in class, but you can kind of see what we have here. The symbol for carbon, if I look right here, this says carbon right here, is C. This dash 12 is the mass. So in class, we learned that the mass is the top number, so carbon's going to be 12 here. The bottom number down here is the number of protons, which see the big black letter right there, the bold letter, is 6. That's the symbol. Okay? So over here, we've got the atomic number, which remember, protons are the same thing as the atomic number. So that's this number right here, which is six, which is always the same. It's so annoying that we always ask about the atomic number and protons. There's no difference. I've not been able to find a difference and I'm old and I've looked, I care about these things. Now notice, I told you, usually they tell you the charge. If they don't say anything about a charge, that means there's no charge. No charge means protons equal electrons, okay? So the electrons equal the protons, we're looking at six. And we're looking at the mass number, which remember mass is protons plus neutrons. But oh, double doggies, I don't know how many neutrons there are. But remember this right here is the mass. Bum, bum, bum. This right here is the mass. Hey, look at that, look at that, that, but that there's the mass. Uh, but da, 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 there's the mass too, okay? So the mass number is 12. And then we get back over here where neutrons, right? Mass is protons plus neutrons. So the mass is 12, protons are six, plus N, neutrons are six, okay? This is the Bohr model part, and you just, where it says P, you put the number of protons, and you put the number of neutrons. And then if you've got electrons, notice we've got six electrons we gotta dole out here. You gotta put two on the first one, and everybody else gets eight for as much as we do. One, two, three so one two three four five six so a total of six circles six circles if you like dots better you want to color them in or do whatever that's fine too problem number two uh oh they've shuffled it around my protons are six protons are this big bold number right here so that number of protons you know protons equal atomic number six is this guy right here so that means it's going to be carbon again. And remember that carbon gets a dash with its mass. <gasps> mass is 14. This is a chubby carbon. All right. So it's been eating too many pumpkin donuts. <laughs> so the mass is 14. Six protons. We got that here, right? Neutrons. Remember, neutrons are mass minus protons. 14 minus 6, I got 8 neutrons. Electrons, no other indication of charge. So remember, I'm going to go back to this. No charge, protons equals electrons. Protons equals electrons. Okay. So again, 6 protons, 8 neutrons, 6 electrons. First route gets 2. One little, two little in the first ring. Then we got to do 4 more to get 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, problem three. Do, 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 do. Well, you know what? I'm going to skip this one. Oh, I'm going to go down to these. Oh. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to go all the way down to here. We saw how to do that. Now we have these tables. These tables are tough. I see that thing's got four electrons, and the mass number is nine. Okay? Now that's all it tells me. Now, I'm going to have to assume no charge. Whoa, no charge. And if I'm assuming no charge because there's nothing that tells me there's a charge, that means that electrons equal protons. Boom. And no matter what, protons always equal, equals atomic number. Now, if I have four protons and my mass number is nine, neutrons would be mass minus protons which is going to be 9 minus 4. That's going to be 5. Okay. 
Now, if my atomic number is four, I can figure out what element that is. Do, 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 do. Whee! That's beryllium. So the name is, and that's a hard one to see, but hard one to spell, I suppose. B-E-R-Y-L-L-I-U-M. And remember, it's dash, it's mass. Mass number is nine, beryllium dash nine. Ah, nine. So isotopic notation, I put the symbol beryllium. I put the mass on top and the number of protons, which is four on the bottom. Make sense? Let's start with this guy. This top number right here is the, oops, I swear I circled it right and it jumped on me. This top thing right here is the mass. Do, 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 13. So notice it's a little different. This guy's a little chubsters compared to this one. Okay. So it's got more neutrons, more neutron power. Not there's any more power in it. This bottom number down here is protons, right? Which is also your atomic number. Four, four. Okay. Now notice there's no charge here. No charge. If there's no charge, that means that protons equal electrons. Four. Now all I have left here is neutrons. And that's mass minus protons. Mass minus protons. 13 minus 4 is 9. So the name is still beryllium. B-E-R-Y. Whoa, that just disappeared. L-L-I-U-M. Dash mass. 13. Okay. Now we've got this one. This will be the last one that I do. Nitrogen 14. Nitrogen symbol. Nitrogen is right here. So it's going to be nitrogen 14. So it's going to be N. And the top number, whoops, top number is the mass here, which is 14. Bottom number is the number. See my little squishy hand? Whee! My squishy hand says it has seven protons. Nothing indicating charge, right? So that looks like it says burr charge, but it should say no charge. Yeah, it does. So this one again says no. 14. And this one says no charge. So that means protons equals um, electrons. This right here tells me my protons, tells me my atomic number. Those are always the same. I don't know any difference between them at all. Neutrons, remember, is mass minus protons. Mass is 14, protons are 7. 14 minus 7 is 7. Mass number, top number, or the number after the dash, is 14. Okay? So, number after the dash is mass. That's what we learned. All right? So, um, nitrogen dash 13 has a mass of 13 okay the other thing we learned what else we learned is if they don't tell you it is charged if they don't tell you it is charged protons equal electrons. That's it. That was a cheesy little quick happy podcast. And for that, I will say to you, my friends, toodles.